Hey guys, Miss Song is Awesome with another Games I Got video uh, for January 2014. Now, I haven't posted up a video in a while. Well, not too long, but uh, I'm definitely getting to work on my top 15 games for this year, for last year. Uh, so far, I have the first part of the script done. So, once I can print out that script because our printer is not working for some reason. We're trying to check that out, see if we can get it fixed soon so I can make that video, the first part, and then the second part should be uh, almost done. And then, yeah, and then after that I'll post up my uh, Rayman Origins review, and yeah, and after that it should be time for the games I got video of February, but anyways, uh, January was not too big of a month, all I got was 40 games, and I didn't like the fourth game, so I just decided not to show it in the video, because I'm just going to sell it anyway, so, but if anybody's wondering what it was, it was Bugs Bunny, Lost in Time, uh, and if anybody wants to know, uh, just comment or anything, why I didn't like it, it was okay. But, uh, anyways, I got three games, not four, three. Uh, one is PS2, and two are PS3, so let's get started. Uh, actually, from um, February onward, I'm probably going to focus on my 3DS, Wii U, GameCube, and PS1, mainly GameCube and PS1, because I noticed that I haven't really gotten any. GameCube games last year. I mean, I got like four or five, but, uh, and I got like barely any PS1 games, so I'm gonna try to focus on those two consoles mainly, but I'm also gonna buy new games for my Wii U and 3DS, of course, and maybe PS3 if any games come out for that, any new games. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Now let's move on to the first PS2 game, Devil May Cry 3. This game is a hack and slash game, and it's the third game out of the trilogy on the PS2, and in my opinion it's the best out of the three, and I think in everybody's opinion it's probably, uh, no it is the best out of the original trilogy on the PS2. Uh, the game just has a lot of interesting combos. It's the funniest out of the three, because it's uh, actually a prequel to the first game. It's the youngest Dante, and he's always fun. Uh, the intro level in this game is actually really fun. I beat the game, and I have to say, it's probably one of the hardest, it's probably the hardest Devil May Cry game, mainly because uh, the normal mode is actually Japan's hard mode. Yeah, a little fun fact, because uh, I think the reviewers... Uh, were complaining that the other Devil May Cry's were too easy, so I think they did that on purpose. So uh, the American audience played on normal mode and is actually hard mode, and they would complain, or like how was a how was a, how it was hard. But uh, I actually ended up on playing on easy, so I could just play on Japan's normal mode instead of hard mode, because I usually like playing on normal mode in every game. But anyways, um. Pulling off combos are really fantastic. I really enjoyed this game. Definitely, probably one of the best hack and slash games on the PS2. Highly recommend it. Can't wait to play the fourth game, too, on the PS3. Maybe later this year. Anyways, now on the first PS3 game, uh, Ninja Gaiden Sigma. This is actually a remake, or, uh, yeah, I guess a remake, or an upgraded HD version of the original Ninja Gaiden on the Xbox in 2004. I never got to play it, so I picked it up on the PS3. It, all the changes are, like, it's easier, I think it has more save points, uh, the graphics are obviously better since it's on the PS3. Um, and I think that's it. it. Might be a new character. Maybe the new character is actually not in the original, but I'm not sure. Maybe it is, but 
anyways this game is really fun it's a hack and slash game it's really hard even with the save points it's still hard uh... the bosses are epic uh... This is a really fun game and yeah not much to say it's an ninja guy uh... can't wait to play sequels i heard the third game was disappointing but we'll find out or i'll find out later anyways the next the last game uh, probably the pickup of a video yeah I'm gonna start doing that again uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots this game is really really awesome in the story department uh, gameplay department I heard, well in my opinion it was really too action based I don't really think there is a lot of stealth in this game uh, that's pretty much my main flaw of the game there wasn't really that much stealth it probably it really modernized the Metal Gear Solid gameplay and made it so it, even if you get caught you can still mow down a bunch of enemies which in my opinion I never liked doing in the other games and this game is probably my third favorite over the second game now don't get me wrong I really liked I still liked playing as Raiden he wasn't as good as Snake obviously but he was still fun to play as and uh... yeah this game is my least favorite out of the s solid snake games anyway uh... just because they modernized it and the bosses weren't really that good uh... i like how they were or some of them were uh... based on other uh... characters like wolf sniper wolf or crying wolf and uh... Raging Raven from uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, Vulcan Raven, I think that's what his name was, but the game is still really good. Snake, basically, he is very old. He's going on his last mission to stop Liquid from uh, basically doing a lot of governmental stuff and taking over the world, but and the end boss was really epic. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for what uh, Liquid was actually trying to do, but uh, just saying that the final boss is definitely one of the best I've ever played in video game history. But yeah, that's all three games I got in January. Uh, as I said before, I'm definitely going to work on the other videos so I can put up more content than just these videos, just like 12 videos a year. So. But uh, I hope to um, expand my GameCube and PS1 collections this year because it really lacked in that uh, place, those two places in my collection last year. So, but anyways, I'll see you guys next time.